Hello there YouTube, Rabbit Story here, and this is my Fable deck. I've been using this deck for the Dueling Network, and I like it. It's fast, it's explosive, it sinks really fast. It, it, overall, a very nice deck. I am playing this deck now more often than my Black Wings. Doesn't mean I'm going to give up on my Black Wings. I just like playing with this deck better as of now. Okay, so here we go. Three Grimro, pretty standard. Two crews. I play two instead of three because I have the worst of luck with crews. I get two in my hand, my first hand, and it's just not good. I'm not saying crews is bad, but it's just not good to have two in your first hand. Three Cerberal, one of the best tuners in the deck. Three Chawa. I have three because I search him out often. He's a flexible card, gets Easily gets my Cataster, Unicor, basically almost anything on the field. Very flexible. Good for Formula Synchron and a token, you know. Three Ganasha, and when you discard him, he turns into a 1,800 beat stick. It's just a good card. Kishano, I, I like him, especially play him with and discard like say cruise, get back Grimro, sync with Chawa for five. Just handy. Gets that discard engine going. And finally Nazuchi. Some people don't play him. I like him because he discards and he could special summon. And since most fables get their effects off when they're discarded, it's a double plus usually. And now MVP Fable for my Fable deck, Reborn Tengu. This card makes it broken. It if you, it was already fast at synchroing. Now it's ridiculously fast. It's makes the deck broken. And I run two Top Warriors because it's easy. Get his effect. Get the tokens, and then you could get Formula Synchron. If you if you have a Stardust already, go for Shooting Star. Nice card. Run only one, the tricky. I, I don't think he's that good. Just because, yeah, he gets you plus off of him. But I, I, I don't know. I think two is overkill with my build at least. One Morphing Jar. Some people say it's too slow. I love this card. It's the one I pulled in Gold Series 4. So check that video out if you haven't already seen it. And I, I just like this card overall. One Dandelion, yeah, I kind of run a lot of monsters that get tokens already. I mean, I have two Doppels already, but I, I, I can't see it as being bad. Plus, it's extra defense if you top deck it and you have no monsters on the field. Unless you're going against Black Winds and they have Boris, that sucks. Okay, one Sangin searches basically anything. Now on to spells, one Monster Reborn, Book of Moon. Dark Hole. Two Pot of Avarice. I would be running three, but my, with my luck, I draw all three in my first hand and uh, magic cards, even though I'm running, what, 25 monsters, 26, I don't know. So yeah, running at it too. Card Destruction. It's a great card. Just awesome in this deck. Mind Control. I'm running so many tenors, mine as well, because... Yeah, it's good for sinking and using up your opponent's monster. Two MSTs just for back row hate. Giant Sinead, Uh This is basically when I get my Ancient Sacred Wyvern, which I'm hoping someone will trade me. I don't know. I'm looking for that, so I'll look at my trade binder. Check that video out. Set up an OTK with Ancient Sacred Wyvern because this deck... So OTK potentials off the charts. One Solemn Judgment, Mirror Force, Torrential. Since I couldn't decide between the two, I put car both car one Karma Cut and one Regeki Break. I I personally lean towards Regeki Break, but Karma Cut's cool too. It gets rid of Stardust, so I have one. At that one. Oh, sorry, it's my token. 
Karibo token. Okay. Two rage in. Three is overkill. Uh, one Leviathan. It's nice to recycle your Fables when you get them out. One Unicorn. This card is broken. It's that's too good. That's all I can say. Now meet the most broken card in Yu-Gi-Oh right now. This makes the deck ridiculously consistent. Draw powers off the charts with this deck with him on the field. And he's easy to summon too, so. Brian Eck, staple. Um, if you're going to run Fabled's, you have to run him. He's just too good because he discards. You get pluses off him all the time. One Stardust Dragon, staple. Black Rose. Black Rose, some people don't like him, but I won a duel because of it. I just nuked the field, got Reborn Tengu out there, and then attacked the game. Uh, Trishola. So easy to summon in this deck. I, it's so good. And I don't have more than one Trishola or, Rib, or never, not Reborn Tengu, but Hyper Librarian because I have a feeling it's going to be limited in the next ban list, so might as well start getting used to it since it's just around the corner. One Shooting Star, just if I get Formula Synchron on the field and a Stardust. One Scrap Dragon, it's nice to have. One Cataster, runs over anything but darks. And lastly, one Thought Ruler, a lot of people deprison your Stardust and then you get another level 8 and you only have choices in this deck in my extra deck between Thought Ruler and Scrap Dragon. I like Thought Ruler, it gains life points and especially if you have a Ancient Sacred Wyvern it just makes its attack go up. It's ridiculous. So yeah, that's the deck. Um, if I were to take out a card I would probably Take out Shooting Star Dragon for An Ancient Sacred Wyvern just because I don't get him out that often to use his effect. It's just me. I might think it's dumb, but it's fine. So, yep, that's the deck. 40 cards. Super fast, super fun. I love it. And please leave a comment, rate, and subscribe. And until next time, see you later, YouTube.